Alaskan Malamutes and Electrical Fences, Pros and Cons Alaskan Malamutes are majestic and powerful dogs, known for their strength and independence. As a responsible pet owner, it is crucial to consider the best methods of containment for these magnificent creatures. One option that many owners consider is the use of electrical fences. In this video, we will explore the pros and cons of using electrical fences for Alaskan Malamutes, weighing the benefits against the potential drawbacks. Electrical fences offer several advantages when it comes to containing Alaskan Malamutes. Firstly, they provide a clear boundary for the dogs, ensuring that they stay within a designated area. This can be particularly useful for owners who have large properties or live in areas where traditional fencing is not feasible. Additionally, electrical fences can be effective in keeping other animals out, preventing potential conflicts or accidents. Another benefit of electrical fences is the enhanced safety they provide. Alaskan Malamutes are adventurous and curious by nature, and they may wander off if left unsupervised. Electrical fences can act as a deterrent, discouraging them from straying too far from home. This can give owners peace of mind, knowing that their beloved pets are safe within the confines of the electrical fence. However, it is important to consider the disadvantages of relying solely on electrical fences for Alaskan Malamutes. One significant drawback is the breed's physical abilities. Alaskan Malamutes are strong and athletic dogs, capable of jumping high and digging under obstacles. This can pose a challenge for electrical fences, as they may find ways to escape or challenge the boundaries set by the fence. In addition to the physical limitations, there is also the risk of physical injuries that Alaskan Malamutes may face when encountering an electrical fence. While these fences are designed to deliver a mild electric shock, it can still cause discomfort or even harm to the dog. This is a concern that owners must carefully consider when deciding whether to opt for an electrical fence. When it comes to behavioral considerations, Alaskan Malamute's strong-willed nature can impact the effectiveness of electrical fences. These dogs are intelligent and independent, and they may become desensitized to the electric shock over time. This means that they may learn to ignore the fence's boundaries, rendering it ineffective in containing them. While electrical fences can be a viable option for containing Alaskan Malamutes, it is essential to explore alternative methods of containment that can complement or replace them. Traditional fencing, such as wooden or chain-link fences, can provide a more secure and reliable solution. Supervision and training are also crucial in ensuring the safety and containment of Alaskan Malamutes, regardless of the chosen method of containment. In conclusion, electrical fences can offer benefits such as containment and safety for Alaskan Malamutes. However, their effectiveness may be limited by the breed's physical abilities and strong-willed nature. It is important to weigh the advantages against the potential drawbacks and consider alternative containment options that may better suit the needs of these magnificent dogs. Advantages of Electrical Fences when it comes to containing and ensuring the safety of Alaskan Malamutes, electrical fences can offer several advantages. These fences provide a secure boundary that prevents the dogs from wandering off and getting lost or injured. With their strength and independence, Alaskan Malamutes can be quite the escape artists, making it essential to have a reliable containment system in place. Electrical fences act as a deterrent, creating a barrier that Alaskan Malamutes are less likely to challenge. The mild electric shock they deliver serves as a reminder to the dogs to stay within the designated area. This helps to prevent them from venturing into potentially dangerous situations, such as busy roads or neighboring properties. Moreover, electrical fences offer a level of convenience that traditional fencing may not provide. They can be easily installed and adjusted to fit the specific needs of the Alaskan Malamutes and their owners. Additionally, these fences do not obstruct the view, allowing the dogs to enjoy their surroundings while remaining safely contained. Another advantage of electrical fences is that they can be cost-effective. Compared to the expenses associated with building and maintaining a traditional fence, electrical fences can be a more affordable option. They also eliminate the need for constant repairs and maintenance, saving both time and money in the long run. 
Overall, electrical fences provide an effective means of containment and safety for Alaskan Malamutes. They offer a secure boundary, deter the dogs from escaping, and are convenient and cost-effective. However, it is important to consider the potential drawbacks and alternative options before solely relying on electrical fences for the containment of these strong and independent dogs. Disadvantages of Electrical Fences While electrical fences can offer certain benefits for Alaskan Malamutes, it is important to consider the potential disadvantages as well. Relying solely on electrical fences for containment may pose some challenges and limitations for this breed known for their strength and independence. One major drawback of electrical fences is the potential harm they can cause to Alaskan Malamutes. These fences deliver an electric shock when the dog comes into contact with the boundary line. While the shock is generally harmless, it can still be uncomfortable or even painful for the dog. This can lead to anxiety, fear, and a negative association with the fence, ultimately affecting the dog's overall well-being. Another disadvantage is the limited effectiveness of electrical fences in containing Alaskan Malamutes. These dogs are known for their intelligence and determination, which can make them adept at finding ways to challenge or escape from the boundaries set by the electrical fence. Their strong instinct to explore and roam can override their fear of the shock, leading them to push through or dig under the fence. This can result in the dog escaping and potentially getting lost or injured. Additionally, electrical fences may not be suitable for all environments. These fences rely on a buried wire or wireless signals to create the boundary, which may not be feasible or effective in certain terrains or landscapes. For example, rocky or hilly areas can interfere with the signal transmission, leading to inconsistent boundaries and potential escape routes for the Alaskan Malamute. Considering these disadvantages, it is important to explore alternative containment options that can complement or replace electrical fences for Alaskan Malamutes. This can include traditional fencing, which provides a physical barrier that is more difficult for the dog to overcome. Supervision and training also play a crucial role in ensuring the safety and containment of Alaskan Malamutes, regardless of the type of fence used. Physical Limitations When it comes to Alaskan Malamutes, their physical abilities can present unique challenges for electrical fences. These majestic and powerful dogs are known for their strength and independence, which can make it difficult for traditional electric fences to contain them effectively. One of the main challenges is their impressive jumping ability. Alaskan Malamutes are natural athletes and can easily clear fences that are not tall enough to deter them. This means that standard electric fences may not be able to keep these adventurous dogs contained within their boundaries. In addition to their jumping prowess, Alaskan Malamutes are also skilled diggers. They have a strong instinct to explore their surroundings and may attempt to dig under or around an electrical fence. This can compromise the effectiveness of the fence, as the dog can escape through the opening created by their digging efforts. Furthermore, Alaskan Malamutes have a thick double coat that provides insulation and protection in harsh weather conditions. However, this dense fur can also make it challenging for electrical fences to deliver a consistent and effective shock. The fur may act as a barrier, reducing the effectiveness of the fence and allowing the dog to ignore the deterrent. Considering these physical limitations, it becomes clear that relying solely on electrical fences may not be the most suitable option for containing Alaskan Malamutes. It is important to explore alternative methods of containment that can address these challenges and ensure the safety and security of these magnificent dogs. Escape Artists Alaskan Malamutes are notorious for their escape artist tendencies, making it crucial to address their inclination to challenge the boundaries of electrical fences. These strong and independent dogs have a natural instinct to explore and roam, which can lead them to test the limitations of their containment systems. One of the main reasons why Alaskan Malamutes may try to escape from electrical fences is their high energy levels. These dogs are bred for endurance and have a strong desire for physical activity. If they feel confined or restricted, they may become restless and attempt to break free. Additionally, Alaskan Malamutes are known for their intelligence and problem-solving skills. They are quick learners and can figure out ways to overcome obstacles. 
This includes finding weaknesses in electrical fences, such as gaps or areas with reduced voltage. Once they identify these vulnerabilities, they may exploit them to make their escape. Furthermore, the breed's strong prey drive can also contribute to their escape artist tendencies. Alaskan Malamutes have a natural instinct to chase after small animals, which can lead them to pursue their prey beyond the boundaries of their containment system. This drive to hunt and explore can override their desire to stay within the confines of an electrical fence. To address these escape artist tendencies, it is essential to provide Alaskan Malamutes with additional mental and physical stimulation. Regular exercise, interactive toys, and engaging training sessions can help satisfy their need for stimulation and reduce their urge to escape. It is also important to regularly inspect and maintain the electrical fence to ensure its effectiveness and prevent any potential weaknesses that could be exploited by these clever dogs. Physical Injuries When it comes to using electrical fences for Alaskan Malamutes, one of the major concerns is the risk of physical injuries that these dogs may face. While electrical fences are designed to deliver a harmless electric shock, there is always the possibility of accidents or unintended consequences. Firstly, the electrical shock delivered by the fence can potentially cause physical harm to the Alaskan Malamute. Although the shock is not intended to be painful, it can still startle the dog and cause them to panic or react in a way that leads to injuries. For instance, if the shock surprises the dog while they are running or jumping, they may stumble or collide with objects, resulting in bruises, cuts, or even broken bones. In addition, there is a risk of the Alaskan Malamute getting entangled in the wires or other components of the electrical fence. This can happen if the dog tries to dig under the fence or jump over it and their collar or leash gets caught in the process. Such entanglement can lead to choking or strangulation, causing severe injuries or even fatalities. Moreover, the electrical fence may not be effective in preventing other animals or intruders from entering the property. If a stray dog or wild animal manages to get close to the Alaskan Malamute, it can provoke a fight or chase, potentially resulting in injuries for both parties involved. It is important to consider these risks and take necessary precautions if you decide to use an electrical fence for your Alaskan Malamute. Regularly inspect the fence for any damages or malfunctions and ensure that your dog's collar or leash is properly fitted to minimize the risk of entanglement. Additionally, always supervise your dog while they are outside and provide them with proper training to understand the boundaries of the electrical fence. Behavioral Considerations When considering the effectiveness of electrical fences for Alaskan Malamutes, it is crucial to take their behavior into account. These majestic dogs are known for their independent nature and strong-willed personalities. Their behavior can greatly influence how well an electrical fence works in containing them. One important behavioral consideration is the prey drive of Alaskan Malamutes. These dogs have a strong instinct to chase and pursue prey, which can lead them to ignore the boundaries set by an electrical fence. If they spot a squirrel or a small animal outside the fence, their natural instinct may override any deterrent the fence provides. Another factor to consider is their intelligence and problem-solving abilities. Alaskan Malamutes are highly intelligent dogs and can quickly learn how to overcome obstacles. If they find a way to bypass or disable the electrical fence, they may continue to do so in the future, rendering the fence ineffective. Additionally, Alaskan Malamutes are known for their stubbornness. If they are determined to explore or escape, they may be willing to endure the discomfort of an electric shock to achieve their goal. This can make it challenging to rely solely on an electrical fence to contain them. It is important to understand that while electrical fences can be a useful tool for many breeds, they may not be the most effective option for Alaskan Malamutes due to their unique behavior traits. To ensure the safety and containment of these dogs, it is advisable to combine the use of an electrical fence with other containment methods and proper training. Alternative Containment Options When it comes to containing Alaskan Malamutes, electrical fences are not the only option available. There are alternative methods that can complement or even replace the use of electrical fences, providing a safer and more effective containment solution for these strong and independent dogs. One alternative option is traditional fencing. 
This involves installing a physical barrier around the designated area to prevent Alaskan Malamutes from wandering off. Traditional fencing can be made of various materials such as wood, chain link, or vinyl, and can provide a more secure and reliable containment method compared to electrical fences. It offers a visible and tangible boundary that Alaskan Malamutes can easily understand and respect. Another important aspect to consider when it comes to containing Alaskan Malamutes is supervision and training. While electrical fences and traditional fencing can help keep them contained, it is crucial to provide proper supervision and training to ensure their safety. This means actively monitoring their behavior and reinforcing boundaries through positive reinforcement training methods. By consistently reinforcing their training and providing them with guidance, Alaskan Malamutes can learn to respect boundaries and stay within the designated area. In addition to traditional fencing and supervision, there are other containment options that can be used in conjunction with or as alternatives to electrical fences. These include Outdoor kennels or dog runs, these provide a designated space for Alaskan Malamutes to roam and play safely while still being contained. GPS tracking devices, these devices can be attached to the dog's collar and allow owners to track their whereabouts in real time, providing an extra layer of security. Training flags, placing training flags around the perimeter of the desired containment area can help visually reinforce boundaries for Alaskan Malamutes. By considering these alternative containment options, Alaskan Malamute owners can find a solution that best suits their needs and ensures the safety and well-being of their furry companions. It's important to evaluate the specific requirements of the dog and the environment in order to make an informed decision about the most suitable containment method. Traditional Fencing Traditional fencing is a popular choice for containing Alaskan Malamutes due to its effectiveness and reliability. One of the main benefits of traditional fencing is its physical barrier, which provides a clear boundary for the dogs. This helps to prevent them from wandering off and ensures their safety. Additionally, traditional fencing can also serve as a visual deterrent, deterring potential intruders or other animals from entering the property. Another advantage of traditional fencing is its versatility. It can be customized to suit the specific needs of Alaskan Malamutes, taking into consideration their size and strength. For example, taller fences or fences with added reinforcement can be used to prevent the dogs from jumping over or digging under the fence. This level of customization allows for better containment and peace of mind for the owners. However, there are also some drawbacks to using traditional fencing for Alaskan Malamutes. One of the main challenges is the potential for damage to the fence. Alaskan Malamutes are known for their strength and determination, and they may attempt to chew or scratch at the fence in an attempt to escape. This can lead to damage and costly repairs. Additionally, traditional fencing may not be suitable for all environments. In areas with strict homeowners association rules or in rented properties, installing a traditional fence may not be allowed or may require special permission. In such cases, alternative containment options may need to be considered. In summary, traditional fencing offers many benefits for containing Alaskan Malamutes, including its physical barrier and versatility. However, it is important to be aware of the potential for damage and the limitations of using traditional fencing in certain environments. Ultimately, the decision to use traditional fencing should be based on the specific needs and circumstances of the Alaskan Malamutes and their owners. Supervision and Training When it comes to keeping Alaskan Malamutes safe and contained, supervision and training play a crucial role. While electrical fences can provide a level of security, they should not be solely relied upon. Alaskan Malamutes are known for their independent and strong-willed nature, which can make them prone to testing boundaries and seeking adventure. Supervision is key in ensuring that your Alaskan Malamute is safe and secure. By keeping a watchful eye on your furry friend, you can prevent them from wandering off or encountering any potential dangers. Whether they are in the yard or out on a walk, having a responsible adult present can make all the difference. Training is equally important in the containment of Alaskan Malamutes. By teaching them basic commands such as stay and come, you can establish boundaries and reinforce their understanding of where they should and should not go. 
Consistency and positive reinforcement are key in training these intelligent and strong-willed dogs. Supervision and training go hand in hand. By combining the two, you can create a safe environment for your Alaskan Malamute and minimize the risks associated with relying solely on electrical fences. Remember, these beautiful and spirited dogs thrive on human interaction and guidance, so investing time and effort into their supervision and training will pay off in the long run.